A movie came out this last week. Movies are picking up over time. Surprise, surprise. It's July. Everyone's finally getting out and about, feeling like going to the cinemas. Either way, I <laughs> sacrificed my yesterday to uh, go and see Black Widow. If you want to hear the story of that, check out Jazz Reviews clips. I'll link it in a card right now. Wow, that was magical. Anyway, subscribe if you're looking at this on YouTube. I appreciate it. Welcome to Daz Reviews 2. Secondary content, regularly. Not necessarily on time, but it's regular. It's more me. Anyway, Black Widow was a movie I watched. You want to hear my thoughts? The content is shuffled. The music the same. Let's talk about Black Widow for a moment, shall we? So, Black Widow. I wrote down a handful of notes. I came into this movie with low expectations. By the way, this is warning, we'll be talking about spoilers. All the footage is trailer footage. I mean, there you go, July 9th, it's trailer footage clearly. Um, but we'll be talking about all sorts of elements. I came into this movie with very low expectations. Seems like a run-of-the-mill Marvel show. I'm almost getting a little burnt out. And nothing was really jumping out at me as being an amazing movie. And it was delayed so long that I was losing interest. I'm happy to report, it is better than expected. Um, it, I, I enjoyed it more than I thought I would. Didn't enjoy it much though. It, it was, you know, I expected it to be a 5 out of 10. Turns out it is a 6 out of 10, you know. Um, it is kind of your run of the mill movie, but the action scenes are better than I thought. There's an action scene where the fight stops because both characters are choking each other to death. So it's a mutual choking. How, how wholesome. Either way, that's an interesting turn of events. There's another one. Like, all the action scenes are really, really good, is what I'm saying. They all have a nice twist on things. You know, we saw just earlier there in the, in the, tra in the footage, the, uh, they, like, destroy a car door to swipe out a biker lady. That's pretty cool. Um, what's a little less cool... It's something I noticed with the cinematography. Maybe this is a plus for some people. I know it's a meme to, in, you know, I've seen certain gifs of everyone looking at uh, Scarlett Johansson when she turns away in her outfit, but there are a lot of ass shots in this movie. Like, it's not to the degree that it's incredibly overpowering and, like, uh, uncomfortable, but it's a little bit weird. There are regular times where Scarlett Johansson is shown from the thigh upwards and the camera's looking upwards. And I'm like, why? It's 2021. This is our main female MCU character the f having so many delays to get her own movie. And she finally gets to be the main protagonist and her ass is just always being shot first in the camera when she walks into a scene. It's not that bad. Um, so I looked up like, who's the director? What's going on here? Turns out the director is female. I'm, I apologize for the repeating footage. Um, but yeah, the director's female. So it's not necessarily like a male gaze problematic guy behind the camera. In fact, there's been like nice talks from the two main uh, protagonists in this movie saying, you know, that they, they liked the opportunity to sort of talk out against sexism in the industry, which is fair enough. Good stuff. But I'm like, what's going on here? How's this happening? I don't know. Maybe it's... Ugh. Made me feel a little weird, but there you go. It's just a weird note, an observation that was like uh, bothering me a little bit as I was watching it. A weird revelation, especially finding out that it's not. Anyway, uh, back to the uh, the actual review part of the you know the story elements. Um, a lot of the fights were really good, but the final boss, the final boss fight, the final fight was the worst one out of them all. The quality dropped off because you knew exactly where it was going. It's a scenario that for a start. Black Widow shouldn't be winning. She shouldn't have any kind of edge. It doesn't make any sense in that way. I wasn't invested in where the, the fight was going. But then also, I knew how it was going to end. So when it ended, like you expected it to end, it was like, oh, there you go. It finally happened. Another note with Black Widow, though. Less comedy. It was very serious in tone. They tried to do a little bit of comedy, making jokes on, like, the hero stance. Very generic. Very cliche. Very light. Not really well executed. Which is fine, if it wants to be a more serious tone, then that's okay. But I just saw Scarlett Johansson's face photo cast onto that building as it continued to the side. That was interesting. Anyway, there you go. It's better than a standard run-of-the-mill movie, but it's still a standard run-of-the-mill movie, just with better action scenes. Um, I even heard others actually saying, yeah, it's about a 6.8 out of 10, maybe a 7.5 out of 10. No, I agree. Like, very, very naff. 
whatever. Um, the antagonist was really cool though. The the one with the big shield there, not 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 David Harbour. They are really cool um, because um, what I liked about it so much was they are a mimic. It was they you know there are elements in their fighting stance you can see from several people. You can see a bit of Captain America. You can see a bit of Black Panther. You see a little bit of uh, Winter Soldier um, and stuff like that and um, and Hawkeye. But it's also more just fan service, more generic Marvel stuff. But I enjoyed them. I enjoyed them as a mimicky character. That was kind of cool. And the reveal of who they were, I couldn't predict. I tried to. They surprised me. So there you go. I was really bad at recognizing things from the trailers, I realized. I didn't realize the little girl who was supposed to be Black Widow was Black Widow. I got them the wrong way around. I should have guessed. Black Widow does dye her hair. She's the cut one with the dyed hair. I thought it'd be she's the younger one. But no, that's this is Anyway. <laughs> It kind of felt like, yeah, they had just retconned some content in for Black Widow. Like, her logic was that, you know, she destroyed the the oppressive, like, corporation that built her to become part of the Avengers. But then it turns out, no, she hadn't actually killed them. Now she has to kill them. Wow. Weird one. Um, loved David Harbour in this. Absolutely fun guy. Loved seeing every every scene he was in. Wow. Love him a lot. Just love the guy. Oh, beautiful. Uh, the only final thing is it threw me through a right loop at the end. I thought there was like some scroll business going on or like, oh, I got a little bit confused because they established, they had a twist. Let's not have that. Well, they had a twist with like a technology we hadn't even seen before. It was very off, um, but there you are. Also, there was like a character they kept showing that wasn't actually important in the end. It was the girl we saw there with the motorcycle helmet that just like showed. She's just another random bad agent, but also she doesn't come back. Weird one. Did it have potential? Not really. It was kind of run of the mill. But I enjoyed it more than I thought I would. One of the more forgettable movies. Part of the marathon and nothing more. Black Widow was enjoyable. It was alright. And, you know, the post credit scene does connect to future events. But even then, the reveal wasn't that great. It was just like, oh, cool. I thought everyone would be dead in this movie because they don't come into the main thing. Turns out they're just separate, doing their own thing. So there you are. Those are my thoughts of Black Widow. I too would give it a 6 out of 10 because it's just run of the mill with a little bit better action than you think. Maybe less of the ass, please. It's, I'm, I'm serious about my story. Let's not film girls from the thighs up and only. There you go. <laughs> Tyson says you struggled to get into the David Harbour's character, which threw me off compared to his how likable he is in Street of Things. He's a, you know, he's a diverse actor. I'm glad he wasn't typecast into the same thing. He's still kind of a dad. In fact, actually, the opening reminded me a lot of The Incredibles. It looked like a grim version of The Incredibles because he's got super strength and he's part of the family at the beginning. And so it was like them running away on a plane. I'm like, wow, this is like some really good Incredibles scene. That was the scene that really won me over because I'm like, whoa, this is really going. So it was enjoyable. But yeah, wouldn't recommend it unless it's free. You know, when the premiere access on Disney Plus goes, watch it then. Watch it as part of the marathon. And that's all there is to it. Done. No more Black Widow. <laughs>